Hey guys, my name is Cyniac and welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect Modded where in the last episode we created this basically maximum security section which I've got a few changes I want to do anyway to it because it's not perfect and I thought it was some cool things we can do but we've got an exciting one today. I want to focus on education. You can see here I've kind of zoned all of these rooms to where I'm going to put stuff like classrooms and stuff so we can educate our um, again prisoners you know for like uh, things like foundation and higher tier education but by having classrooms it also means we can train our guards to use tasers and there's a lot of other stuff we can use classrooms for in terms of setting up programs. But before we go any further, guys, before we go any further, I've changed up a little bit of our regime. Now, I see in a comment, and I, I do apologize, I can't remember who sent me the comment, I'm going to the regime, but they said before and after, well, before, after they wake up, give them an hour of lockdown. Now, this will give them time to, you know, kind of wake up, get ready, use the toilet, uh, just have a little bit of a free time in there. <clears throat> and sell to do what they want before we let them out and this reduces the anger levels and I found that when I did it there were less riots when they all went to the shower which is pretty cool and I've done the same just before they go to bed so that gives them an, like an hour in their cells to settle down and calm down and then go to sleep and I've seen less riots in the prison well you st I'm still getting riots but they're not as bad now this guy seems to have um, <laughs> a, a tunnel just there chilling so let's uh, remove tunnels. I'm going to do a big, big line. Does it pick up anything else? It doesn't. No, it don't. That's okay. So the first thing I want to take care of before we go any further then is the fact that we're struggling. When when things do, we've got 24 guards free. So I need to actually hire more guards. So let's get some more guards in then. We're going to put our capacity and limit up to 100 for guards. And straight away, I'm going to simply do a shakedown. The prisoners are not going to like this, but I need to find any more tunnels with what's basically going on. So we have 43,000 to work with today. It's not a lot to what I normally have saved up, but we're going to try our best. We're going to try our best. So is there any grants we could potentially use today? So reform through education. We get a nice little payment there. We'll, we'll go for that one. Get that underway. Get it all going. It's going to be pretty sweet and swanky now something else i want to look at is um land expansion which is a thousand because i eventually want to start expanding land and buying more stuff so we're gonna we're gonna start researching land expansion too now i want i've kind of created all this here so what you can see here we've got two classrooms either side here so it's four there another four here then another four here now these smaller rooms on the outside there i'm going to turn those into cleaning cupboards uh, one, it creates more jobs for us, but I also want to eventually get rid of these two cleaning cupboards here and create more offices and other stuff and chapels and stuff uh, in this area. So I'm kind of shifting the workload over. Now, this area is going to be quite expensive in terms of building foundations. So we're going to see now. We're going to um, how much you're going to cost us. So I do a, a small portion of it to start with, like here. And. In my mind, I've designed it pretty well. Uh, how much have I got now? 40. Do you know what? I can actually do all of it. How much does that cost? We, we're going to go for the whole full beans. Don't even care no more. I've designed it pretty well uh, with ideas and walkways and how we're going to do it. So it is going to be interesting to see how it turns out. Now, um, objects. We need a large jail door uh, here. Rotate it around for here and here. I think it's quite a cool design of how I've done it as well. So we'll we'll see how that turns out anyway, given our workforce a lot to do. Have we found any additional tunnels today? Let's fast forward. <clears throat> um, I don't think we have. We need to check the guard dogs uh, walking around the edges for if they do spot any um, shovels. But it's the, by doing this, we've sent a lot of people into um, solitary as well, which is kind of cool. Right, sweet. So while that's doing that, doing what it's got to do, when it comes to this maximum security, now I've been thinking, uh, we have a maximum security wing. We don't have enough maximum security prisoners to fill the wing, which is perfect. It's ideal for us because we've got more than what our population is. But I've been thinking more this area. And what my idea is, because if I go to deployment, 
we do have the ability to zone a protected only area. So this is like um, where we put um, prisoners in protective custody who are um, being like found out to be snitches or ex-law enforcement who um, have a higher rate of being attacked in the prison. We can have protective custody over them and put them in like segregate them in different cells. And we have this option for maximum security for our highest kind of, um, how do I pull it? The highest level of prisoner, the one that's going to be most likely to do bad stuff in the prison if that makes sense and i'm thinking about zoning this whole section here maximum security only so if i do it and i'll give you the reason why now so we zone it all there which means i want to then have um shared access for this canteen and kitchen so this maximum security can use this kitchen and vice versa so logistics food distribution everybody can use it Perfect, that's what I want. So the reason I'm doing that is because we can use, and I'm hoping we've still got it, intelligence for our informatives. We've still got our informative, which you can now see puts a lot of information on a lot of the prisoners that informative has come into contact with. So here's our informative right here. He's doing a, a good job. He hasn't been found out to be a snitch just yet, which is pretty cool. So we have like this guy here, he's a legendary prisoner, which he's extremely strong, tough, uh, volatile. So this is the kind of person that you want to designate to be maximum security. So the reason I've chose this area to be maximum security, and because I've done that, can I now change to a dark and maroon carpet? Is the fact that they're gonna have a tougher time in the prison. They're gonna be kind of um, segregated uh, a lot more than anybody else. So, and again, the majority of the maximum security prisoners are going to be here now for a long time. So even if they are, um, again, prisoners, I would, you do want to give them, you know, some form of life in the prison. So this is where this comes into play. Now, I'm not sure if the maroon carpet is going to be dark enough that you can distinguish it. If not, we'll place in like a darker wood flooring. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So we don't have any maximum security prisoners at the moment. So intelligence, informatives, let's pick some then. So this guy here, he's, he's crazy. Let's um, change him to Supermax, which gives him a, a brown kind of a dark, ready maroon um, clothing anyway. We'll do it to this guy. I'm not going to do too many. Why can't I select him? Uh, Supermax. Who else we got here? I'm looking for guys with big lists. So he's been now being moved to hopefully one of these cells. He might go to the holding cell first. And then a, um, a guard will bring him to the max security section. Now is there any up? Oh, there's a guy up here who is in. Uh, solitary at the moment. We'll change him to super max 2. And uh, probably do one more maybe. I don't think we actually need to do one more. It should be fine. Has he changed to... Um... If I can select him. <laughs> there we go. Maximum security. Oh, this is a different person. Okay. So we've got four maximum security people, which is going to be pretty pretty sweet to see. So how is this maroon carpet doing? Let's uh, fast forward them. It is definitely darker. We can Yeah, you can distinguish it. It's uh, That's fine. I'm liking that. I'm liking how you can distinguish it. So over here, then, we need to set up. We've got 21 Gs. We need to set up all of our utilities. So let's get the electrical grid going around. Just like that. And, uh, oh, we actually don't have it. I forgot there's a, there's a, there's a small little uh, inkling, kind of what you call it, there. Oh, that get rid of all of that there. That's slightly annoying how it does that, then. If I get rid of that, it removes it all. Hmm. Okay. That's really annoying how it does that. Okay, that's fine. Then we get all the electrical in. We don't need any water in here at all, so that's completely fine. Uh, and I do have uh, zoned perfectly or quick build rooms for the classrooms. So where is the classroom? It is... Dun, 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 dun. Is it this classroom? No, it's not that one. I'm sure I've got what here. Is it this one? Yes, it's perfectly this one. Okay, so one there, one there, 
How much is that going to cost us? One there, one there. It could bankrupt us. You just never know. We'll put some doors where they need to go. Because these actual quick build rooms don't come with doors, I've kind of discovered. So we kind of have to place in our own. And uh, we'll let them do that then. we got a lot going on at the moment. Have we now researched um, land expansion? Not quite. Not just yet. Okay. So we've got some more prisoners coming in. We've got five now arriving, which is nice to see. We've got this nice maximum security section as well. And uh, which leads me on to, to, again, when we've expanded our land, I can then build vast more uh, big, huge um, sow wings like we did with the maximum security for medium and minimum. The minimum really needs it because if you go and check out the holding cell, which uh, they haven't been moved just yet. Oh, they're, they're now fighting. What's going on? He's dead. Wow. And that's why I zone them to be maximum security. You can see we have a lot of minimum and medium. So we, we, we don't have the capacity to hold them at the moment. Um, they're going to get in trouble now. <laughs> right, so. Now, because they're not going to, was the trick to do um, the rooms? Like, dezone them and rezone them? For the cells? I think that was the trick which got them to move over there. And then just get rid of that little line there. There we go. And hopefully they do go into it. So let's fast forward then so the cells are completed. Sweet. Right, perfect. Okay. So it's currently lock, lock up now. So this is the hour before they all go to have a shower. So you can see they're all chilling. They all look calm. Danger levels are rising, but that is a given. Some of them are in solitary and in lock up anyway, just in general. But when the shower does come, I think that they're more likely to let, you know, not riot. But I bet you now they will riot just because I've said they don't riot. So as you can see, um, it's now halfway through shower time. Nobody's rioted just yet. It's about to go to eat time for some of them. See, no riots in the shower time because we had that, that, that little hour lock up, which has really helped us out and benefited us so much. <clears throat> okay then, so... We've got a lot of work for these guys to do. I'm going to lock open um, all these doors now. Because they are going to be really handy to keep them open. Lock open. Perfect. Okay. So when it comes to then um, our kind of reform goal here for our classrooms, uh, we've, we've, we, need, oh, we need to unlock um, education for the bureaucracy. Have I not done that? Where is education? Small cells, pottery, legal. Where's education? Um, that comes under, I take it, it comes under. Um, honestly, because of this, the kind of the, um, the mods that we've got in and stuff, it is hard to tell where the actual, um, this stuff can be because it overlays over the top of it. Where? Is that education? No, it's execution. <laughs> I don't want that. Oh, educate. Seniaku, damn for what it's right there. Right there. Requires a warden. Two Gs. Let's get the education underway. And then we'll unlock that. And then, all it's have to do then is educate 10 prisoners in the foundation and have one prisoner pass the general education course. So that's going to be um, pretty handy and sweet for us. So I take it they got all the utilities in, but I haven't linked it up to the power grid just yet. So we'll create that link as well. Now, the great thing is they don't need any water in here. So we don't have to create any pipes or anything. So that's going to be interesting to see. How much have we got? 15 Gs. Nice. For some reason as well, it feels like forever I'm not going to complete um, getting a carpenter educated in the prison. It just seems terrible. It just seems really, really bad. Right, did these guys go into their cells? Or are they still in here? They seem to still be in here. I'm kind of what we what I did last time to get them in there. Oh my goodness, he just killed a guy. Whoa! Whoa! I just seen him pick up some keys. You see he's got keys in his hand. If this guard goes down, they're gonna make a run for it. They're legit gonna make a run for it. No, they got the they they got him, they got him. Once we've educated him to get the tasers, it, it's going to be so much easier. The level of control. What's this guy doing? Wait, is he is he a, is he a lot, one of the enforcers, the gangs? Yeah, he's, he's, he's they're having a meetup, guys. Whoa, just look at look at the, the gang territory at the moment. 
Um, the green and blue gang have equal gang members, but it just looks like the green gang is more dominant on the actual prism. They have the most money as well. That's crazy. So, oh, I can see the green gangs. Oh, they're having a little play for territory over here. Uh, oh my goodness, me. That's just crazy. Right, it's quite dark in here. I need to place in some, some actual lights. So, objects, lights. Plate some lights in the classrooms. So, where you can see. And uh, materials, I've got 14 Gs, wooden floor. How much is it gonna cost? To do the two, seven Gs. <sighs> that was very expensive. We'll do these as well. <laughs> Spending all my money, but it's gonna be pretty cool. So now we've got the classrooms We can now go to programs And we've got a lot of programs currently at the going at the moment So what we can do the first one is guard taser certification certification. Sorry uh, Which we got 99 in queue. We'll start that and um, Edit schedule when that, that comes at 6 a.m. In the morning Which is while all the um, prisoners are on lockdown so that, that's going to be handy. At the same time, then, we've got the alcoholics group, which, what do they do? They need a common room and a, and a um, psychologist. We'll also get that set up. Okay, maybe we can't. What do we need? Um, requires... A, hmm. We'll comment that later, because there's quite a few requirements for that. So I'm not too bothered about it at the moment. Uh, but what I want to take a look at is we need to unlock education so we can get the foundation and the other stuff all set up as well. So how far are we, we to, to that one? We're only at 36% uh, with that one anyway. So we've still got quite a while to go to actually get the education all set up and running. Now, does any of our maximum security want to get into? I mean, uh, where is it? Deployment. Max sec. Any of them want to? Do you know what I should do as well? Um, deployment have no access granted for certain areas like this like that so there's no access to those so if prisoners do go in this area now the only time they can go in that area is if they're being brought through by a prison guard but if they go in there on their own will then that basically means they're going to get straight punished locked up solitary I don't know uh, so to get to the visitation, they, they have to come through this way. To get to the holding cell, it's all coming through this way. To get to the mail room and shop, they go through that entry there. So there's going through there is the only way they can actually physically get out. So that should be um, pretty interesting to see then what actually happens. Okay, so how is the, the classrooms doing? They're doing pretty fine. We got 800. Uh, let's fast forward then. Let's get it all done. I just want to get the education done so we can set up all the um, the classrooms and educate our um, prisoners. Which, once they're educated, they're less likely to re-offend. Not only in the prison, but actually then coming back to prison. Which is pretty sweet to see. So we're at 51% now. You can see on the right side. Once we got this, um, the kind of um, the education grant done, it's 40 Gs in the bank. Damn. Also, it's 6 a.m. We can see a load of um, guards go and get taught in the classroom and then eventually come out with tasers and stuff, which is going to be kind of cool to see. Um, I'm going to probably um, schedule, because we've got like um, 12 classrooms, um, a lot of education programs going on throughout the day for all of our prisoners. Okay, we're at 67% now. It's currently eat time for them uh, on the evening. Has the maximum security guys gone down here to eat? They haven't because they're not in their cells yet. I'm not sure what actually happens. Oh, okay. We're finding, you know, little shovels and stuff. Should we do another shakedown or will everybody go crazy? We'll do another shakedown when they're in lockdown. So they're actually in their prison um, themselves. Which uh, should be um, around about 12 p.m. on the night. It's getting dark now. Is it getting cold? Um, is it logistics temperature? It is slightly getting cold outside, so we, we actually do need to um, set something up. So anyway then, as well as something I didn't um, touch upon as well, I've m increased our kennel and armory as well, uh, so we can have more guards for deployment. Um, did I do, I, I think we did, we did the deployment last um, guard patrols, yeah we did. Um, but now we've got the additional, uh, I need to hire more staff for our armed guards. So I'm gonna, Ooh, I don't have, oh my goodness, I don't have the money. But that should give me the deployment now for the guard patrols. 
having an extra one there, or no? Is that a fat no? That is a huge no. Have we done the prison? Uh, oh, we've done the education grant. Sweet, we've done that then. So let's go to our programs. And we're going to now get our foundation education, our general education, which where's that now gone? It's up here. Um, we'll get two of those and two of those just to start with. So if I edit the schedule, carb oh, this is why carpentry is not happening. <laughs> All right, let's get that there, and they're all, they're, they're fine, we'll do workshop safety here, kitchen safety over here, we've only got one workshop, so until we get another workshop, uh, we can't put them simultaneously together, okay, okay, um, right, we'll have this actually early on, so if they do pass, they've got four hours then to actually work, right, so, from 2 p.m. Um, from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. That's when the classrooms are going to happen. They're now currently sleeping, so let's uh, violently wake them up with a big shakedown. <laughs> oh, I'm so evil, so evil, Shaniac. You're so evil, man. Uh, should we should we get like a large income um like intake for let's up our intake to um because I want some more prisoners in just so I can get some more money. Two two five. That holding cell is going to be like ridiculously busting to the you know room. Uh, so let's get some more bunk beds in them. And actually, I can't afford it. <laughs> I can't afford anything. Damn. Okay, uh, we're going to get a nice increase of like fourteen thousand when those new prisoners come in anyway. And um, so yeah, I want to see the classroom working with all the um, actual guards because the teacher comes in from outside the prison. And teaches everybody in the classrooms. It is really cool to see. So uh, we're going to wait then. Until uh, all the guards do their training. Which they're going to get tasers. Which is going to be also really, really cool. Because uh, we're going to have like a whole new level of uh, control. And, you know, sass in the prison. It's going to be kind of cool to see. So two more hours then. Before the guards um, get trained for tasers. So I wonder how many guards. How many guards are going to go to the um, to it? Where is it? Uh, there is 89 in queue. We can only house as many chairs as we currently have or how many we can actually teach at one go. Uh, so not all guards are going to have it, you know, at the same time. You know what I actually could do? Uh, where's it gone? Have free. Edit schedule. No teacher exists. That's, well, of course they're not going to exist. They haven't come in yet. Have I, got, I don't got high teachers, do I? I'm sure they they come in. But then why have I got to do it after, one after the other? Are you crazy? Um, we'll see anyway. Where is it? Okay, so... Oh, it's the chief that... That's why. It's the chief that teaches them. I forgot. It's the actual teacher that teaches the prison. Yeah. Okay, and now I understand why. I need more chiefs. But the actual um, teachers come in. And um, teach um, prisoners anyway, education. But we got these now being taught. Will they pass? I don't know. Have they passed? Are they now going to get it? The armory? They legit are. Now they're getting tasers. Oh my goodness, which is costing me a fortune. Oh no. Like, you know what? Fine. I, I will go in debt just a little bit just to get it. Because we are going to get like four 14 Gs anyway when these new prisoners come. So, it's all going to help us out. Right, there we go. We got the 14G income. We now got 6Gs because we just spent a load more on tasers for our guards. There we go. <laughs> we could spend a load more now. But, again, our guards have got tasers. I can't complain. Cannot complain. Uh, right, so. Where do we currently stand then? At what time? From 12 to 3 is when our prisoners get educated as well. We got a little bit of money there as well, so let's um, with our materials get our concrete tiles set up as well. Uh, how much have we got now? Uh, I'm trying to think of a way in what we can. Oh, well, I'm gonna have it all come through here because these walkways are like four by four. So I've been thinking about having um, some kind of nice little pattern. Oh, where did you come from, dude? You're getting searched. And I should really set up the cleaning rooms as well. Because we got the path there for each of the doors. 
So by setting up the cleaning rooms, we can hire more to actually uh, work in there. So how much have I got? Right, I should have enough uh, for materials to actually build these walls. There we go. Let's quickly pause it because the, the rioting and there's deaths. Oh, we ain't got enough money now. Damn. What's going on? What's going on over here? Is it a gang? And it wasn't even a gang play because they've got shirts on. They're just generally having a fight. <laughs> <laughs> not good, man. Just not good. Right. Oh, we got a teacher in hand here now who's educating one guy. Which, if I go to his um, his experience, you can see his foundation education. Um, how much he's gone in that course because they have to do so many sessions as well. It's not one session, and then the success rate increases. Uh, to see if they do pass, which can be interesting to see. Um, now, foundation. We only, have, we only have two interests. There's not many people interested in to actually be educated, which is pretty weird to see. Um, have I got any um, objects? Doors? How much is a door? 50. I can place in two doors and zone these rooms here to cleaning cupboards. So where is the cleaning? Where is the cleaning? Uh, I just seen it in the corner of my eye, but now I can't see it. Where is the cleaning cupboards? Wait. See, I knew I seen it. Cinec, you fool. You damn fool. <laughs> right, so one guy has been taught. He's doing such a good job. His experience, look at that. He's doing such a good job. You go, dude. You get your education. You, you go get it, dude. <laughs> right, um, let's check out the needs of the prisoners. Then. Needs. There we go. So, it's all, you know, pretty much quite low anyway. It's exercise and family, which are the main offenders. Which leads me on to think, also, we're going to need either a bigger visitation or another visitation room. I think if I get rid of that, um, what could I do with it? What I actually could do is I could turn this one into a, the, like a new, brand new holding cell. Then expand our infirmary and morgue using the current holding cell. That's an idea. And then have it like multiple visitation rooms down below. Uh, we could eventually set up, which would be... That would be pretty cool. Now, the evaluation of our prison has now decreased because we've had multiple deaths recently. Not good. Um, grants, we can't really do much there. Policy, it's all pretty swell. Uh, and we've got next to no money for us to use. There's four deaths today. What is going on? Right, we're doing another shakedown. People need to uh, to learn that we will not have tomfoolery in our prison. And we're still actually... Oh, we found a um, pornography. What? Okay. That's new. <laughs> Didn't know about that. So we've got this shakedown going on at the moment. Oh, they're going to be rioting and fighting and stuff now. Which is not good to see. Absolutely not good to see. So, I also need to be thinking very shortly about having more workshops and other stuff which can make us money in the prison. Because as you can now see that I am fighting, which is feeling like a losing battle in terms of um, our money situation at the moment. Because um, the amount we're spending on building. Um, how is the forestry down here? Have we got any like trees I could chop down? Not really, no. <laughs> Just gonna make that moolah, man. Gonna make it. Gonna make that sweet moolah. Right, we searched all these places now. One more place to search. Come on. Where's that one place left? It's this prisoner in here. Right, you got him. Oh, no, we got more, more searching. More searching happening. Have we found any more tunnels? I don't believe so. What about down here? No. Are they gonna finish this shakedown or what? Come on, two more. There we go. Finish the shakedown. Nice. We got rid of a lot of stuff there. A, a lot of stuff that we needed right there. Right, so we got these rooms in now. Uh, logistics, prison. Oh, we get seven prisoners working in there. That's going to be very handy for us. Which I should also now have enough m money to build these two rooms as well. Uh, oh, objects. Get doors on there. Have another 14 prisoners in these cleaning rooms. So, clean him. There we go. There we go. Let's fast forward in and get those cleaning rooms also set up as well. 
so much prison labor that we got going on. It's a shame that the cleaning, that, that, you know, it doesn't make us money. I mean, cleaning would never make you money anyway. It's just ridiculous. Um, but I need, I, I need another workshop set up. That's what I need more than anything. Because that, that actually does make us money. And then we do have other stuff. Like, uh, if I bring it up, we have stuff like, uh, where is it? Where is it? Um, I think pottery makes us money. Gun assembly makes us money. Uh, I'm not sure if the computer lab does. Uh, the wig production makes us money. And I think the animal farm, farm does as well. And accounting. I think that also makes money. So I do need to eventually start thinking about that in great... Uh, well, actually put in that first at some point. Probably focus on it next episode as well. Um, so logistics. Prison labor. Add another 14 in. Nice. All right, everybody's got a job. Oh my goodness, this guy... Is he drunk? He had the, um, the like I think it was either alcohol or drug warning. Not too sure what was going on with him. He's a um, little bit loopy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> little bit loopy. Right, so how's it all doing then? It's doing pretty good. I don't have enough money to do much at the moment. But I just want to see them the next day. How many people are going to be interested in um, the programs for education? Still only one. Hmm. It would be nice if we get some more people interested in these um, programs. Uh, when it comes to... Where's the guard one? <sighs> we're going we're gonna to have so many... Uh, we're going to spend so much more money as well. But the guards are going to have tasers, so I can't really complain. We've got 12 prisoners coming in next day, so we can get a nice chunk of money. Which is going to get wasted anyway on the guards buying tasers. <laughs> <laughs> so there's not very much you can actually do with that. Um, but let's take out our intelligence then for our informative. Now we've got one. I think we should get a few more, more informatives. So he's a snitch over here. He could be a potential. So let me click on him. Stop doing it. There we go. Um, Right, is it in the character again? I forgot. I, oh, oh, damn it. I always forget where you select them. Yeah, they recruit. It's inexperienced. So, recruit as an informative. Nice. We got another one. Now, you gotta, you kind of got to be careful because if other prisoners find out they are informatives, then they are going to be targeted and by, you know, again, by prisoners. But we have gangs. So, it could be like all the gangs just gang up on him as well. And then that's where we lead to having to have like. Um, protective um, custody over some prisoners as well so he currently is an informative who oh he's already in solitary right we're gonna hire a load because the more we have uh, wait did I did I no he's did I do that right experience yeah he's already one the more we have the, the more we're gonna learn about our prisoners but the more likely one of them is going to get found out right that's quite that's quite a lot now we can't really do much at the moment with them because they are in solitary but from what we already know... Uh, okay, so let's see wh where, where they're stealing stuff from. Uh, show all contraband in the last seven days um, that was stolen or smuggled into the prison. So they, they, ooh, a lot of it is coming from um, visitation, which is not good. It's not good at all. I also think there's ways and how we can... Um, in visitation, have like the visitation with the wall where they're not sitting face to face with a table. There's like a wall in between them, which uh, we'll probably take a look at that. Where are they getting those keys? Oh, the fan keys there. Wow, that's been thrown over that wall there. Okay. Okay. How much have I got? We got 1,000 um, objects. Now we can get stuff like a road gate, which does cost us a thousand. Um, I don't have enough money for that, which is a shame. Oh my goodness, there is a huge fight going off here. Is it been handled? I think it's been handled, yeah. Uh, but there's just so many prisoners in here. Man, there is a lot of prisoners in here. This is why we need to um, have more cells. I just don't have the money to do it. But I want to get a little bit more money because I want to place on a road gate as well. That will save the contraband being thrown of this section. It doesn't solve everything around it. But when we eventually expand our land, I then want to build like a perimeter wall where the contraband can't get thrown over. And then we have like guard towers with snipers overwatching everybody, which I think will be really, really cool as well. So um, our guards are going to have another um, lesson now in, in how to hold tasers, which is going to spend us or make us spend loads of money. Um, have they all been searching here yet? 
Almost. Everybody's always been searched. Okay. Okay, we've got 13 prisoners now arriving. Um, some are, oh, we've got parole at the moment as well, which is kind of cool to see. Um, right, are they doing the lessons now? Yeah, this is where we're going to spend so much money. Look at that, we just spent tons of money. Damn it, man! <laughs> I just want to see how much money we're going to get anyway when the new prisoners come in, if I can build that road gate or not. Because that would be really handy for us. Right, so here they come. Bam. Oh, yes, we catch the candle. I'm going to pause it quickly while we have the money. So, road gates are brilliant because if prisoners do escape from the prison from the main entrance uh, from here, they've then got to get past the road gate. And road gates are also very handy uh, because it controls the flow of trucks and stuff coming in the prison. So, materials, we'll close it all up with a fence. Bring that down to there. I should have enough. Get rid of that one. Perfect. So let them build that. So it doesn't, mean, it doesn't mean we have to have a guard on a kind of patrol out here. Just so he can open up and close uh, the gates. So we'll have a guard out there patrolling. So has it all been built already? Oh my, they work fast. So you can see it opens the gates, they go and go through and then closes. Another level of security. This is just on our main entrance as well. So slowly but surely we're making the the prison more and more secure as soon as we can stop all contraband getting in the prison we are just like done easy smack bang we're making uh, you know it, it just, life will be so much easier for us then so much easier so before we call it for today's episode which is a short one i do apologize i normally schedule you know i normally make them up to an hour long it's just we don't have much money so uh, i can't really do much anyway so before we go let's check out the intelligence for all of our gangs then. So by taking a you know an overview of the look, the Green Gang is the dominant gang. They have a lot of they've got one more member than the Blue Gang, but they have more dominant. Oh my God, there's a riot on the way. They're all taken care. They've all been taken care of. Oh my goodness. So they do have more territory. They've got like they've got three common rooms and two yards. Wow. Uh, the blue gang is then the second one with one yard, one common room, and the red gang has just got one common room. Wow, that's pretty interesting to see. It's kind of cool that he sees it as well. Um, have we found a tunnel? We found a tunnel, guys. Uh, objects. No, is it materials? No, it's in objects, right? Where is it? The um, get rid of tunnel one. No, it's in materials, isn't it? Yeah, remove tunnels. Damn it, Sandy, I could fall. Right, there isn't any more, is there? Let me uh, drag it over. No, there isn't any more to actually find. So get that tunnel sorted, please. Prisoners there getting escorted away. Um, oh my goodness me. Right, stop, 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 stop. Why have all these guards been highlighted straight away? Was this a planned attack by gangs? But did you notice, as soon as the, um, the right went underway, it, it, well, it's still going, but it's instantly stopped because of the tasers. Oh, he's shooting tasers. So that's like, taken care of. Which does mean there's now 30, 40 now awaiting solitary, which is kind of crazy. That is crazy. So anyway, guys, we're going to call it for today anyway. Uh, we have. It may not seem like we did not, didn't do a lot of progress, but we've actually done quite a bit. We've got all of our education set up. It's just more down to the fact that we didn't have enough money. So for next episode, I'm going to grind away, get as much money as we possibly can, uh, and uh, so we can actually make a huge progress. But we've got, more importantly, all of our classroom sets up, which our guards now have tasers, which is very, very important. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, I will see you all soon. So good. Bye. Listen.